you can catch all the games with the Argentine Triple Crown Polo at live.aapolo.com. Get yourself a subscription to the best polo in the world today. You're watching the highlights on Kirk's Polo Report. Today we're featuring two teams in the Abierto at Palermo. We have La Hache versus La Hache Cria and Polo. This is an eight chucker match. Let's join Andres Ugarte with a play-by-play. Be careful in the throwings. Don't speed up. And the game is on Rufino Benzadon with the first ball of the day. Chased by Hilario Joa. Follow there. Hilario ready to join. Good covering by Rufino. The under the belly shot and the coverage by Guillermo Cassette. Zappo. Here comes Zappo Cassette sending the ball forward to link with Francisco Elizalde. Here comes Fran. Trying to link with Polito. The ball stays a little bit short. A new attempt for Francisco Elizalde. Still in position of the ball. The under the next shot looking for Polito. A good comeback over there by Facundo Sola. Facundo. Facu Sola. Both teams have um, a very important contest next Saturday. Lache against La Dolfina for spotting the final. Even though, of course, they need to win this game in order to reach that game with uh, that possibility. And Lache, Grian Polo playing against La Esquina to secure a spot in 2024. Guillermo Cassette from a very long range and the ball goes wide. And now, Juan Pitaluga, who um, I remember when he started playing the Open 2016 for Kriya he used to play as a number three, Iñaki as a number four, but lately he's been playing more and more as a number four. Guillermo Cassette from a wide angle, hitting, scoring to open the score in this game to give the lead to La Hache La Roca in the beginning, one nil. Colisalde, I insist, what a back has Fran Isalde turned out to be eh, after this season. From Hilario to Guillermo Cassette, the ball passed by, and now Toli. Carlo Mario Joa, Toli Joa leading from behind, and now Juaco Pitaluga. Taking his time, challenged by Hilario. The approach by Juaco. The ball passing by, passing by, looking for Rufino, the marking by Guillermo Cassette, changing the line. And now Hilario, sorry, Toli. They all look so similar, they use the same number. They have the very same possibilities. Polito. Changing the line, the pick up by his friend Joaquin Pitaluga. Joaquin Pitaluga with another approach. The good opportunity for Korea. Joaquin Pitaluga, of course, sending the ball in. Tommy Beresford and uh, Santi Cernadas. On the other side, Santi Tocalino and Ledin Subiaurre. From Rufino to Facundo Sola. And now Hilario changing the line over there with the back shot on the near side. Now Sapo, the pick up by Guillermo Cassette. Another approach by Sapo looking for Polito Pérez. Good approach there. And here comes Polito to score. And Polito scores for the first time today to give the lead back to Lache. A great teamwork over. Folks in the high hole. Juan Copitaluga resuming the play, sending it forward with good direction, stopped in the way by Facundo, and now Pablo Pérez. Polito tried to find his way, challenged there by Facundo, another approach by Pablo Pérez. The ball stays in behind, good recovery by Facundo Sola, turning around really quickly, and Facu Sola to score, and Facu Sola sets the equalizer for La Chegri and Polo. Goes today. Important for both teams to win. In the turning, Sapo Cassette reaching out for it, the back shot, looking for Tolly, and now the pick up by Rufino Benzadon. Ah, great anticipation by Rufino, sending it forward to link with Juaco Pitaluga. Here comes Juaco Pitaluga with clear field ahead, Juaco Pitaluga. Great angle there by Juaco Pitaluga to score for the second time today, and a great comeback. To set the equalizer here. So here comes Pablo Pérez, sending the ball in to set the equalizer, three all. First penalty today by La Hache La Roca. This, this field number two is like very good cover, you know? With the standings and stuff, but still, let's see how much it counts on the game. Polito. Pablo Pérez sending the ball forward to Lingo Francisco Elizalde, head to head. Very well taken by Juan Pitaluga, but finally the ball was picked by Hilario. 
Here comes Hilario Ulloa. The approach there to link with Sapo Cacet, who was taken and challenged by Rufino. And on the approach by Polito Pérez and Pablo Pérez. Scores back to back to give the lead back. Elizalde receiving from the back, challenged there in the front by Rufino Benzadon and pretty quickly linking with Sapo. Guillermo Cassette sending the ball forward again to Hilario. Here comes Hilario, show head to head against Facundo Sola, the marking there by Facu. And now Rufino trying to change the line, looking for Facundo, but a good anticipation there by La Chela Roca. Sapo. Sapo Cassette sending the ball forward and now Hilario reaching out for it. Big before by Francisco Elizalde. The chance for La Chela Roca to extend the lead, the marking by Tolly, the final tapping. And I think it was Hilario who ended up scoring. Fran sending the ball forward, looking for Pablo Pérez. Good anticipation though by Toli Ushua. Here comes Toli, the marking by Sapo Cassett. Trying to take the back shot, also Toli and again Poli. Good year for Fran also. During the European season, he played in England, the High Goal, and then in Soto Grande. And now Hilario Show with the pickup. A great play by Hilario to score for the first time today to extend the lead for La La Roca. He takes all the time in the world, and Hilario scores to extend the lead for his team. Six goals to three. Also. So here comes Pablo Pérez to take it. Polito Pérez with the safety, sending the ball in, continuing his good moment in the game. From front to support. Here comes Guillermo Gasset, taking his time, open towards the right. Sapo again, here he comes. Sapo Gasset, the end of the next, you're looking for the net from a wide angle, and Sapo scores. One of the spaces is off the house, Sapo wide shot Sapo's shot from a wide angle like he just did look taking his time very calm and taking the hole the hit at goal to extend the lead Polito Pérez a strong shot by Pablo Pérez sending the ball in again as he did before with the safety penalty Polito scores again three on penalties 130 161 uh, corner 60 Polito trying to win it over, coming from behind Facundo Sola. The ball stays again in behind. Pablo Pérez and now Facundo Sola. Good move there by Facu. Chase by Polito. And now Fran, Francisco Lizal. Facu Sola, who made his debut, if I'm not mistaken, in 2012. Playing for Magual. And now Sapo. Positioning himself really well, sending it forward to link with Polito. Here comes Pablo Pérez to score again. The under the next shot by Polito to reach double figures. Lache, La Roca today to close jacket number three in the best possible way for the green jersey team. Showing a great association there between Sapo and Polito. At least this is the second time in this game where Sapo assisted Polito and Polito scores. So following this goal by Pablo Pérez comes the end of check number three. Ten goals to La H, La Roca, three. So, Fran Elizalde resuming the play. Remember everybody that next Saturday we'll see La H, La Roca playing against La Dolfina Saudi for a spot in the Argentine Open final. And Sapo Cassette from a long range looking for Fran Elizalde. I think the ball was deflected by Fran. We'll have to take a look at the instant replay to see to which player we are awarding that goal. I think it was Fran, but let's let's see. Sapo Guillermo Cassette sending it forward. Let's take a look at number four green. Yeah, Fran Elizalde scoring. Second goal today by Fran. And I insist the role play by Sapo Cassette today, amazing. Polito, head to head against Facundo Sola. Again, Polito Pérez from the near side to the offside, entering the box. The defense there by Facundo Sola, taking the danger away. And now, Hilario. Hilario Joa. Challenge there by Rufino. Again, Hilario Joa trying to make a break out of there. 
Looking in great shape, Hilario again today. Sapo changing the line. The back shot on the near side, deflected in the way. Francisco Lizalde trying to win it over. Finally picked by Polito Pérez from Polito to Fran. And here comes Fran to score back to back. Polacci, La Roca, and Fran. Elizalde scores back. Sapo. The back shot there to link again with Francisco Elizalde. Here comes Fran, the top scorer of this fourth chucker. From a long race, Francisco Elizalde kidding at goal. The ball passing by, passing by. And Francisco Elizalde showing me how skillful. He is right now scoring for the third time in this Chaka to extend the lead 14 goals to three following the third goal in this Chaka by Francisco Elizalde. Look, amazing. My friend, everybody thought that he was going to send a long pass, but he was confident 21, enough to hit a goal. 23. And trick by Lache Grian Polo in the game. Juan Copita Luga sending the ball in. To finally close the gap. Paco Pitaluga. Paco sending it forward, trying to link with Toli and now Rufino Benzadon hitting a goal from a wide angle. Again, the marking by Francisco Elizalde, the ball passing by. It ended up going over the back line and La Chela Roca will be resuming from the back. Salle from behind trying to link with Hilario. The pick up by Hilario Joa was in a very good position to pick up that ball, but the ball stays in behind. Now Facusola turning around, sending it forward, looking for Rufino. Ben Sadon, a good challenge in there by Francisco Elizalde. The ball going backwards and the coverage by Fran from board to board. The winner of the Gold Cup last year playing for Park Place with Facu Pieres. Louis Hainan, Sam Wisby, I believe, if I'm not wrong. Italua now, and now Rufo Benzadon, Rufin, picking it up. The ball stays in behind. The first bell goes, and here comes Facundo Sola, already playing on injury time. This is the last of the first half. Facu Sola, long range approach, looking really well, making the ball fly, 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 fly. And Facundo Sola with an amazing score to close the first half of this game. What a shot by Facu Sola, not only from a wide angle, but from a long, long range to score. Let's take a look again. Look, amazing. By Facu, who scored for the second time today to close the first half in a great way. For Pablo Pérez to open uh, the score in this second half. Pablo Pérez sending the ball out. First missed penalty by Pablo Pérez, by Polito, well. Lache, Crian, Polo, and uh, Francisco Lizalde. Fran sending it forward, looking for Polito Pérez. Polito with the tapping, the ball passing by, passing by. Hilario, Uy, Hilario Joa scoring with that under the next. 15 goals to five, and now picked by Hilario. Changing the line to link with Pablo Pérez. Polito sending it forward, picked in the way by Facu Sola. Facundo, the marking by Sapo, who was coming from behind. And now Fran Elizal, head to head against Joaquin Pitaluga. A great start, a great acceleration there by Fran Elizal. The chase by Pitaluga, another approach by Fran, looking to score one more time, entering the box. And here he comes, one tap, two taps. Fran Elizalde, and he's going number five today to extend the lead for La Hache, La Roca, and what a year by this guy, by Fran Elizalde. He entered the season 
as a number two to start playing as a number four for La H. La Roca to play as a number four for the first time ever in Argentina and what a back he turned out to be. Fran Elizalde and a new one. Out of two, Paco. Joaquín Pitaluga sending the ball in and La H. Cleveland Polo closes the gap. Pablo Pérez from 30 yards, following that technical against Facundo Sola. They went to the following mark. Team to close the gap in the very beginning of check number six. Only 20 seconds has passed since the beginning of the checker. Paco Pitaluga sending the ball in, of course, a trustworthy penalty taker, as I mentioned before. Scoring four out of four today. Seven, eight. Tolu Jova now. Carlos Maria Jova. Challenged there. Firstly by Pablo Pérez. Towards the right hand side. To link with Juaco Pitalu. The pick up by Juaco. The back shot. And now Tolu. A good coverage by Pablo Pérez. And the foul. Exactamente. He needed to enter on the near side. Franny Sandler. The mark in there by Facundo Sola trying to take a back shot. The anticipation by Hilario. Greatly done by Hilario Joa. Good angle hitting and scoring. A great effort there by Hilario Joa. And it in a penalty one, which I'm not adding uh, it to himself. Toli. Carlos Maria Joa looking for Joaquin Pitalua. Here comes Joaquin from behind. Facundo Sola, the pick up by Facu. Challenge there also by Hilario. And now Pablo Pierre Polito turning around. The move by Polito sending it forward to with Francisco Lizalde. The ball passing by, passing by. Passing by. Passing by. And now Rufino trying to pick it up. Now Facundo, who was coming from behind, the marking by Hilario also. Sapo. Getting involved in the play. Pitalu again bringing the ball in. Following that back shot on the near side. And now Rufino to score. Rufino to score. Rufino score. To close the gap. His first one today. A good back shot by Joaquin Pitalu to assist Rufino. Pensadon. 19 goals to 8. I think it was half a play actually at the end. Hilario trying to win it over. The pick up there open towards the right hand side. The marking by Tolly. The marking by Tolly and now Facundo Sola. The pick up by Facu sending it forward towards Tolly. Here comes Carlos Maria Joa. Challenge there by Hilario. The marking by Hilario on his brother Carlos Maria. Here he comes, Tolly, looking for Rufino. Here comes Rufino Benzadon, leaving it for Facundo Sola, turning around the same as Sapo. Bueno. And the whistle. 30. Good turn around there by Facundo. Let's see. Pongo show. Yeah, it's a penalty too in favor of White. I think the foul was called against up at the end. Pack won a great turning around. So Juaco Pitaluga to take it. A good chance. For the white jersey team to close the gap again in this chucker. Paco and the goal for La Checria and Paulo, a new one by Joaquin Pitalu. And the game is on.
When we listen to the first bell, Tolio Joa, the pick up by Carlo, Mario Joa, chased by his brother, the anticipation by Hilario, the open action by Hilario to close in the back. Zapon, this will be the first chakra where Lachi La Roca will not win it. So far, 3 2 for Lachi, Crian, Polo. Italua. Joaquin. The approach and the end of chakra number six. Paco sending the ball in to close the gap and to reach double figures. Four minutes, 40 seconds remaining. The umpire insisting on the way that players are entering in the throw-in. Acusola, head to head against Guillermo Caseta. Good recovery by Isapo. The ball stays a little bit short. Also entering the play was Tolly. And now Pablo Pierre, Polito. Polito looking for Francisco Lizalde. Also by Isapo Caset, who was coming from behind. Then here he comes, Guillermo Caset, leading the attack for La Chela Roca, trying to enter the box. A good angle by Sapo taking it all the way and scoring for La Chela Roca to reach 20 in the game. To cut the momentum by La Chegria and Polo, three goals in a row, three Ananza goals by La Chegria and Polo until this one scored by Sapo. And La Chela Roca extends the lead 20 goals to 10. A great play by Sapo. Sapo. Again, the pick up and now Hilario Joa picking it up for La Chela Roca will try. Fran, Elizalde looking for Sapo. Guillermo Cassette. Sapo again, looking for Hilario, the marking by Facundo Sola. Nicely turning around, and here comes Facu Sola with a lot of time ahead. The approach, the ball stays a little bit short, but it was very well picked by Rufino. Benzado. Rufino with the under the next shot, flying ball, but it stays a little bit short. Sapo with the back shot, and now again Rufino Benzadon to score. Rufino hitting, blocked in the way, and now Facundo Sola. And the ball ended up going wide. Home. They need to play it. Francisco Lizalde. Rufino was complaining about a blocking, which from the point of view of the umpires didn't happen. Now Fran Elizalde with a long approach, putting some pressure over Joaquin Pitalua, who's gonna get there first. The open back shot by Pitalua, the pick up by Polito, a great one. Here comes Pablo Pires trying to take the last shot before the end of the chakra, but the ball ended up going over the back line, and this will end the chakra actually. Pitalua towards the right to link with Rufino. Here comes Rufino Benzadon. How many players oh, made the debut with Lach eh? this year and last year? Pitalua, I'm sorry, Facundo Sola with the under the next shot. Some pressure over Hilario. And here comes Hilario Joa, more standing as a number four. Let's see if Loki Elizalde, Manuel Elizalde, who just uh, replaced his brother Fran, will play more in the four, in the front. Facundo Sola, the ball passing by, and now Rufino. They pick up by Rufino, and Hilario was absolutely crossed over Rufino's line. The whistle. Polito is on Penal Cruzada. I was trying to find out the information about Penal Cruzada because I never, I'm not sure I have uh, mentioned her before this game, you know? 
So penalty now in favor of Lache, Cria and Paulo. Penal cruzada, Open Potter and Irenita Armadura. Here comes Joaco Pitaluga from 30 yards. The chance to close the gap. Joaquin Pitaluga scores a new one for Lache, Cria and Paulo. 8 goals today by Cuaco that's the whole information I have right now Sire and in his genetics open water and in it armadura Fran Elizalde sending it forward, looking, uh, sorry, Hilario looking for Polito. And here comes Pablo Pérez from the boss to the center. Polito, the end of the next shot. And Polito scores. Then the lead in favor of Lazio, reaching an, um, a total of eight goals today. On Penal Cruzada, I insist, I'm a little bit surprised by this one. Repeated by Polito on this chucker. What a run, a great acceleration there by Pablo Pérez and the goal. Five minutes remaining in this game. Lache La Roca will decide League A next Saturday against La Dolfina for a spot in the Argentine Open Final. The ball stays in behind and now Toli, the back shot covered by Hilario. Here comes Hilario Ushua, sending it forward, looking for Guillermo Cassette, who was open towards the left-hand side. Here comes Sapo Cassette. Nice action by Sapo, nice breakaway, entering the box and scoring. This time, 22 goals to 11 in favor of Lache La Roca over Lache Crian Polo. Here comes Pablo Pieres, the ball stays a little bit short. Still passing by. Toli looking for Pitaluga. Juaco sending the ball forward to link with Facundo Sola. The end of the next shot. Also coming from behind was Guillermo Casera. Good recovery by Facundo Sola. But it's a pressure on Polito Pérez who was making the coverage over there. Polito. Taking the line. Again, Rufino with the pick up. It was actually Toli. Now Facundo on the near side. The ball stays. Hilario Joa linking with Sapo. Sapo Cassette, the end of the next shot, looking for Hilario. Good link in between these two. This is something that Lache did a lot in the last two chakras on the game where they beat Cria La Dolfina. They start um, passing more and more the ball to each other, like testing it, you know? Trying different things. Of course, they have the greatest challenge, the back shot over there by Paco Pitalu, I think it was. Wow, what of the blue goal for Lachi Crian Polo, or was it Toli Ulloa? Wow, what a shot, let's see. Polito and Juaco Pitaluga, actually. Juaco, indeed, an amazing one by Juaco. Here comes Juaco to take it. Joaquin Pitaluga sending the ball in to close the gap. Ten goals today by Juaco. Today, ten goals by Joaquin. 75% of his goals, of his team's goals, actually. Juaco winning it over, the marking by Polito. Pablo Pérez, the back shot looking for Sapo, and now Pitaluga. Trying to enter the play, and now Hilario. Here comes Hilario Joa. The marking by Rufino, completing the play. Polito Pérez over the midfield line. Trying to put his team in front. Hilario from the near side to the offside. This is at least the third time he has done this over that side. And Hilario scores to add one more. Now back to the center, entering the last seconds of play. Pitaluga, the ball stays in behind, and that will be it here. Let's call it a day here at field number two. A new win for Lache, La Roca, their third one in this Argentine Open. 
to reach the decisive weekend of League A in the best possible way. Today they beat La Cecria and Polo, 23 goals to 13. Congratulations to La Ce, winning 23 to 13. They'll play La Dolfina Saudi in the semifinals of the Abierto next Saturday. You've been watching the highlights on Kirk's Polo Report, and if you haven't done so, please subscribe. And as always, please be safe.